So it's time for me to uh, show you extremely high moisture content. So we're stopping somewhere right around 25. It's been here for about 10 minutes. And the vapor pressure is not going up any higher than that. That's just straight up moisture saturated. So for me to, the only proper way, I mean, you, we're not gonna take this, especially with all this rubber line and stuff, there's miles of it to the front. Um, flushing the whole entire system, putting a new receiver dryer. Remember on these Porsches, the receiver dryer is right there and there's a sight glass in it. Can we see the sight glass? Where's, where's that sight glass at? Somewhere. Shit, my finger, I think, I think I'm hitting this. Up. Really hard to see, I don't have the light on. Right there, there's a sight glass. That's supposed to be, I think, I thought they were aimed towards me. I think they, they replaced this before and it's not aimed right, that's not original. Because you're supposed to be able to see that sight glass really clearly. And uh, I believe they might have had a ball. I don't think this aftermarket one does. We'll, uh, we'll see. Maybe I could get my camera back in there and see if there's the little ball that floats around in there and moves around when there's refrigerant flow. Uh, this has miles of refrigerant piping that goes all the way up here. And then there and back. And these old Porsches lose the refrigerant just right through the old rubber hoses. Uh, no oil stains, no leaks. UV dye won't find it. It just migrates right through the hose. As they get older, they become more porous. The rubber breaks down. And um, slowly going up. So that's it on that one. Uh, this is uh, getting sold. And I'll put on a vacuum. It's been an hour now. And that's where it's sitting on this one. I can't get it down anymore by using vacuum in a reasonable amount of time. So it'll be a blow and go. It'll work just fine as long as the expansion valve is fine. I got to the other one that I made a video on the Mercedes down the street where it got down below 500 microns and what was that 60 seconds or something like that, three minutes. And, uh, and that's on a dry system. This is on a wet system. And um, systems that are left dead, open to the air now Somebody else put these retrofit fittings on here before it came here. Probably somebody who sold it to somebody before it came to this somebody. And um, so that's what you can expect. But if you ever get one of these systems, because this is an old R12 system, and it's original, and nobody ever touched it, and they'd say it only has 10 PSI and it's been sitting for 20 years, and there's no leaks, it just went through all the rubber hoses, and it's in a good system, and you pull a vacuum, You'll notice on this car with mineral oil, where nobody's never touched it before, you'll go right into 500 microns within five or 10 minutes, and you'll be able to get down below 100 microns because it was mineral oil. See you later, bye.